Let's see who have we got. <laughs> Welcome to the stream guys, uh, Ross, welcome, you get the gold again, um, yeah, I can hear myself, that's annoying, <laughs> right, Just give me a set of phones having an episode, there we go. Right, so Ross gets gold again. Uh, Max, welcome, you get the silver. It's, well, good to have you both. Obviously, it's landscaping again, so this could be either fun or boring, depending on how you find it. Uh, Gamer XXX. <laughs> I'm just going to call you Gamer Triple X because that just sounds better. Doesn't sound like a ridiculous spy film from the 2000s. Uh, yo, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? So, yeah, landscaping. Not exactly my favourite aspect of a build, but nonetheless, it's one that's got to be done. Um, just trying to find somewhere where I can put my phone. That way I don't miss everybody's comments. Again. Right, um, decent preparing for Hamilton tomorrow and hoping Falkirk get battered again. <sighs> I'd imagine you'd be a lot happier if that was the case. I know we've got our first playoff tomorrow, so I'm looking forward to that. Good old Barnsley at home, and I've just got my, well, I bought my ticket this morning for the second leg away next Friday, so I'm going to that. Um... Do you know Farnborough FC? I've heard the name before. I think someone's mentioned it to me before. Uh, Ozzy, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Oi, oi, oi. I don't know why I just thought of that. I'm sad, I know. Um, Injustice 1, Owls 0. Yeah, Peterborough winning 1 0 for anyone who's not been keeping track of the playoffs. It was a howler from the keeper. But then again, at this time of year, form goes out the window, so you can never put... Well, you can never write anybody off. Um, I don't see Falkirk coming back from 6-2. Well, you never know. Wor worse things have happened. I mean, PSG Barcelona, anybody? If you know, you know. Uh, Farnborough FC used to be Farnborough Town, I believe. It's like I said, someone I think someone mentioned it to me a while back because they wanted to know if I could do their ground. It might be the same person, actually. At least I don't have to do much in terms of like terraforming properly on this because like most of it is flat, so. With most of it being flat, should be quite easy to do. That was me. Yeah, I thought it might have been the same person. <laughs> I have added Farnborough to my list, by the way, so it's definitely on there. But I want to try and make good progress on my championship builds before I start any new requested ones. Uh, that's 16-18. I already built it and it's on my channel by the way. I'll, I'll have a look at it then later. I can remember someone actually asked me to do Hallam FC. But the problem is that their ground is literally on a hill. So that could pose a bit of a challenge. Yes, the first Oasis tune of the night. Shock of the lightning. Yeah, what I've done is I've created a playlist for myself specifically for Minecraft. 
And it's lucky that I wasn't streaming yesterday because I ended up working. Although I didn't know that I was supposed to be in work, which was the funny part. Alright, let's bring these off. off because it's quite a complex junction what I've got to put here which is why the road obviously sweeps around like this there's pretty much three roads in one junction well two roads in a side street <laughs> Alright, let's see, so that's two lanes of width, so five, seven, that's, actually that's more or less the same width of that street, so that should be simple enough. So basically, however wide the street is, it's going to be how wide the two lanes have to be. Three, six, nine, twelve. I'll do 13 so I can get a, what do you call it, a dividing line in there. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, uh, three nil Patrick. I don't know why. I thought you said three nil Patrick then. <laughs> if Falkirk do come back, I'll eat my shoe. <laughs> it's two nil Peterborough. Peterborough just scored again. I have no idea who scored. Someone called Ward, whoever that is. Never heard of him. I think what it might be better to do... No, 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 that would have been a stupid idea. I was going to say, mark out where the house is going and work off that, but that's probably going to be a thick idea. Oh, it's a worldie! Absolute worldie from Peterborough. So Ward's got the ball, he's just smashed it from about 30 odd yards and it's gone top bins. Keeper got a glove to it as well. That's an, that is a hell of a goal. Fair play to Peterborough. No, I didn't want white concrete. There we go. I've just realised what I'm going to have to do here. Because obviously I've got no underlayer on, so I can't get that to face the right way up. So I'm going to have to stack it down one and then do it. Sometimes. Well, this is why you should never write anyone off in the playoffs. Alright, so stack that one down. In fact, what I should have done really was do it from this side. Thunder, <coughs> it was. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, the Farnborough Stadium I built isn't the best. I've done better with some of my others, by the way. All oh, right, okay. What other ones have you done? I mean, if I get time towards the end of the stream, I'll have a look at your channel. I completely write off Falkirk after going 5-0 down at half-time. Yeah, they're pretty much gone. <laughs> if you're going 5-0 down in a playoff, then most people are going to wonder why you're there in the first place. I think landscaping wise I'm hoping to have this done by the end of next week. Oh, I'll show him the second goal again. It's absolute worldy. I mean they might be saying the it's the Darren Ferguson factor or something like that, which doesn't bother me anyway because when they had Duncan Fer well Darren Ferguson in charge, we beat them 5 0 at London Road anyway, so. Oh, Ipswich. Why was I going to say Ipswich? <laughs> They're not playing Ipswich. <laughs> Uh, Wednesday, not at it, but the goalkeeper's having a good game. Uh, custom ones, I just create them as I go along. That's fair enough. I know a few people like that, actually. Um, us, I can see us maybe bottling it, but it won't matter. <laughs> well, there's always next season if you do. Yeah, we sold our tickets out for the second leg next Friday in about five minutes. And yeah, it took Barnsley two days to sell out their allocation for us. Falkirk, Sterling, all in the same league. Proper Fourth Valley Derby. <laughs> to be honest, that sounds like having most of Greater Manchester in the same league. Pretty much every other week's going to be a derby. Uh, Bolton versus Ipswich playoffs were interested in 2000. Don't remind me. Please don't remind me of that. That's the, that is the one playoff semi-final that annoys every Bolton fan. I could sum it up in two words. Barry Knight. If you don't know who Barry Knight is, let's just put it this way. He is a prime example of a biased referee. Alright, so it widens out. I am actually going to have to mark out where these houses go before I do any sort of road work. Right, so we've got one, two, three. I think that's two separate houses, isn't it? Yeah, or is it? No, it's a medical centre, but I'll have to 
mark it out as two houses anyway. So Right, so the first one I've already marked out, that's over here and I had to mark it out anyway just to work out where the road had to curve. So we've got, call it two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, so seventeen houses in all. And I don't know how long that is. Actually, let's use diorite. Alright, so starting from here. Actually, what I should have done then was done it by 99, because then that gives me 100 in total. Uh, Jim Magilton. I don't know who that is. Thank you. Right, so that's one fifty. One seventy. Uh, just posted a new vid on a stadium I I built ages ago. I'll have a look at it at the end. Uh, how many did I do that? So that's 170 blocks long. Uh, it's probably just a bit more than that. So that's 170, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 176. 176 takes 16, that's 160, so 160 divided by 17, I think. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, so that's, yeah, 160. Who's good at maths? 160 divided by 17. Oh, Jim McGilton scored the hat-trick against you in 2000. I don't know. <laughs> like I said, most Bolton fans try not to remember it. Right, on, in fact, it's going to have to be two calculations just in case. Right, so what we'll do... 160 divided by... 17 and 160 divided by 16 just in case either one of them turns out to be the right one uh, so 9.5 that's for 17 and then divided by 16 So 9.5 for that, and then 60, 16, it's 10. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's me being thick. <laughs> Doi. Right, so, <laughs> uh, you had me thinking then, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why, I just had a massive brain fart. <laughs> right, so we'll try, if we'll try 10 first and then see what happens, uh, 3, 6, 9, 10, 3, 6, 9, 10, 
six, nine, ten. Time at London Road, it's 2 0. Nine, ten. Three, six, nine, eleven. I can work with that, that's fine. Um, Aussie Stadium builder your channel looks sick the stadiums are awesome I was going to say you're doing Australian like A-League stadiums aren't you No, if, if it's well, it works out all as like tens, but I can work with an eleven one at the end. That's fine. Um, who do you support? I'm a Bolton Wanderers supporter. We're a club who very nearly went out of business four years ago. But what our owners now have done is they've set up a bond scheme like to try and raise funds and they've basically given the fans the opportunity to invest in in the club. I mean you've got to pay a minimum of five hundred well put a minimum of five hundred pound in, but it's not that our owners are skint because they're not, but it just allows them to sort of speed up the process in investing like and stuff that needs doing really so and then at the end of five years you get your money back fair enough Bolton are decent to support United my mum was a United fan growing up and one of my uncles was as well so one of my uncles like he's a uh, surgeon out in Australia and he operated on Ollie Gunnar Solskjaer when he had his knee injury. Uh, great news again about Berry coming back. Yeah, I'm very happy for him. Because, I mean, what happened to them could have very, bit, very easily been us. So, yeah, fair, fair play to... Bury for getting the club back. I don't know what league they're starting in. It's probably going to be like Northwest Counties or something. But they might just carry on with where AFC were at. Um, I have a lot of respect for Bolton, but support Biv Villa. That's fair enough. You'll get along with Gajira then, because he's a Villa fan. Yeah, I've got a lot of time for Villa. Um, one Bolton owner is a drummer for a big rock band. Yes, he is. That would be a certain Nick Mason of Pink Floyd. He's good friends with our owners and he's put some money in as a result. Right, now that's more or less my out. We can actually start doing the road now. Right, so, 1, 2, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, yep, yeah. so 2, 4, 6, 8, 
that's more or less where the nine is, so. Seen him what twice in concert so far playing the early years of Pink Floyd. I didn't realise he was still playing to be honest. Um Northwest County Northwest Counties League Premier Division Bury being Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Six eight So it's about here. Problem is, I've got to line it all up exactly the same, so that's going to be a bit of a nightmare. Uh, so the nine's there, so yeah, one, two, three. Has anyone here heard of Walton Hersham FC? I can't say I have. That's probably a bit too low down the leagues for me. Alright, sorry, why did I say that was going to be? That was. Actually, yeah, that makes sense. 5, 1, 5 again, because that's the width. That's what I want. So, oh, that world has gone down as an own goal. Oh, it took a deflection on the way through, that's why. That's annoying. Um, what did I use for marking lines there? I used white concrete powder, didn't I? Shows it. Oh no, I did use white concrete. Uh, if me in League South Central Division, yeah, that's a bit too low. <laughs> that probably explains why I've not heard of them. What I tend to do with road markings is I'll put the like I'll put them in as a solid line and then sort of divide them up afterwards. Want to know where everything's going. Yeah, put that to about there for the time being. Purely because obviously I've got to do the merge down to a single lane. Um, they have over like the thick. Like the yellow line block you used. Yeah, it's hair. It's a hair block. I've used it to represent like double yellow lines. Um, they have over a million followers on TikTok. How? I'm I'm surprised the team so low down the divisions would have as many followers as that. I like the Wrexham of the lower leagues. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Gives it that realistic look. Yeah, that's that's what I try and aim for when I do these. I want them to obviously be as realistic as possible, so. I was going to say, Gamer, what 
Oh no, I think you said you were a United fan, didn't you? <laughs> I was going to ask you who you support then, but then I remembered. I might move that line forward because I think. Uh... Actually, no, no, I can make it work. Right. So now what I want to try and do is do this bit here. So if I can work out how wide that bit is, which I think is probably going to be no more than about three blocks. I think actually it's the same width as what that is. So that is... Uh, so one of those I'd probably do... About four blocks width, so it's probably going to be about four blocks for that. Yeah, that, that more or less works. I probably have to put that crossing in first actually before I can do the rest of it. Uh, right, so it's more or less sort of level with where the middle of this is, so it starts about here. Starts about there and then it finishes about here. Move that up by one. But I don't want it being stupidly massive. Um, what you're going to do after you finish the championship project, I'll probably just work on any requested builds that I've got to be honest. I mean I'm not gonna be doing a multi lead like a multi stadium project like this again. So yeah, I'll I'll just probably do like whatever's been requested on my list, which I think has got like crikey, I think it's got like sixty odd stadiums on it. I'll have to have a look. Uh let's see documents Requested stadiums. Just have a quick check out how many I've got on this list. I have 74 stadiums on my list. Sure, I did put Fanber on it. Is it on the YouTube section? Yep, there's you. Fanber is on there. I've tallied it up for the capacity as well, so I know. Um, is Adams Park on there? Uh. <laughs> Good question. I think it is. That's all I can say. I'm not sure. If not, I can add it. It's not on there. I don't think. Unless I'm being really stupid. No, it's not. I can, I can add it for you. Um, let's see. YouTube. What I've decided I'm going to do as well is when I, as far as I'm concerned, requested builds, people have got until I finish whole. And then I'm going to stop accepting requests. It's not even April anymore, is it? 
23, Arms Park. Falling off there. Oops. Um, right, let's get on. Oh, it's the middle of that, it's just pathway, that, isn't it? So I think I want. If it's a crossing, it's going to be flat, so I'll just put sandstone on it. Right, so that's where. The road starts to sort of widen out. So I think what I want to do, if I link that side to that side, that's probably going to be the best bet. So if we do that to whatever the thing is on this side, I don't actually know. I think I was going to do the same width, wasn't I? Yeah. Yeah, so if I do that actually the same width, that sort of works. So start off same width and then actually yeah, I'll move that one back. Concrete. So I wish I could play music out loud to make it liven up a bit, but stupid copyright. Um, to be honest, Farnborough doesn't take much detail because it's quite small. Most, I think most non-league grounds are. There's never really much to them. Is actually a straight line. So if we do, sorry, I'm just trying to work this out. So if we do that to uh, there, does that work? That works. Um, Pre-end is always like, or the PRE end is always like 90% of the atmosphere to be honest. Well every ground will always have that one space that generates the most atmosphere, so that would, that would make sense. Um, if my list is correct, you've got 11 to do after this for the championship project. Uh, nope, it's 10. <laughs> it's 10 to do after this. Right, that sort of narrows off as well, so... However wide that is, that is there, because the parking lane's cut off after that, like, after that bus stop, so... Uh... Ah, that's not gone as planned. Right, so three, six, seven, it's the same again on the side. Three, six, seven. Let's just see where that is in relation to that. It's 
probably about 10, 11 blocks from there, so... So if we're counting, this is the end of the, well, this is the end of the corner, so 3, 6, 9, 11, so it comes up to here. So more or less where the end of that is. That's convenient. I do that then I can shunt all this back over so what am I doing there Three nil Peterborough. Poker's just scored, and there's only f what fifty minutes played. Go on, Peterborough. Fair enough. I mean, we'll just hit five past them again in the final, so. <laughs> Um, Brum, Brentford, Hull, Ipswich, Millwall, Norwich, QPR, Rotherham, West Brom and Wigan I believe left today. You nailed it in one. And three of those I've already started building. Oh, let's see, it was a cross into the box. Oh, it's a free header at the back post. There's just no one defending. That's poor, that. Kwame Poku. Shocking from Sheffield Wednesday, to be honest. The, honestly, it doesn't look like they turned up. I mean, I was thinking to myself before the game that a draw... Especially a nil-nil would suit Sheffield Wednesday and they'd, they'd go for it at Hillsborough. But now, they'll be lucky if they get anything from tonight because they'll have it all to do at Hillsborough. And when Peterborough faced Sheffield Wednesday, obviously at Hillsborough earlier in the season, I think I think Sheffield Wednesday only won one nil. So... Yeah, they've they've got it really all to do. Uh, there we go, so that's that's about right now that, that's good. Actually what I can do there is I don't know why I keep clicking there. <laughs> um Bolton are in the playoffs, right? Yeah we are, we play tomorrow. We've got Barnsley. First legs at home. Yeah, if I leave that at 16, that's fine. Um, only the second quarter still got two to go, lol. Exactly. There's still a long way to go in the playoffs, but it just shows you how predictable how unpredictable the playoffs can be. Uh, this is painful to watch. Can of Guinness needed. Well, I've got a can of Monster, so I'm not far off. <laughs> right, how wide is that at its widest point? I think... It's going to be, it's probably about as wide as that lane is actually, so, what's that? It's like, five blocks or something like that? P, 
takes more or less here, which is level with that, so in between 12, well, let's see, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, yeah, in between 12 and 13. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, in between 12 and 13, so, wait, hang on. I've confused myself. Six, eight, ten, twelve. Hang on a minute. I'm really confusing myself. I think I might have done the houses wrong. Oh, God. I can tell by the chimneys actually. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cork. That is a massive oh cork. <laughs> I've counted wrong. That's not gone well. So what was it? Hundred. It was hundred and seventy-six in length, wasn't it? So it's not. 16 that I need to take off. Yeah. Cork. <laughs> oh dear. Well, that's the first balls up of the night. Um, probably the first of many, I suspect. 5, 6, 7, 8. So it's... It's not ten, it's actually eight. I was gonna say I thought that was stupidly long. Right, so one seven six take eight is one six eight. So one six eight divided by nine, I think. So it should be about 19 blocks as opposed to 10. Yikes! Right. I was going to say, I didn't think that looked right. Um. When we got promoted to the championship, the comments Peterborough made about us going up made me lose all respect for them. So me saying eight sounds a good, oh, so me sounds so me saying eight sounds a good idea. Yeah, <laughs> I've cocked up spectacularly. Right. So what was it? It was eighteen point six. So basically every nineteen blocks. Right. So three six. 9, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 19, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 19, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 19, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 19, 6, 9, 12. Alright, so I should have 8. Right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There we go, that is better, that is what I meant to do. <laughs> right. 
I think it's because I tried marking out each individual house as opposed to marking out every two block. So two, four, six. So that starts two, four, six, eight. In between eight and nine. Two, four, six, eight, nine. So it should actually start about here. Monumental balls up on my part. Right. Now we can do it properly. So what I'm going to have to do is replace all that with grass again and then start again. See, this is this is why I don't do tutorials because half the time it would be me building something, realise I've done it massively wrong and then demolishing it and starting again. Me and tutorials do not mix. Right. Well, thankfully, that's in the right place, so I don't need to move that. That's fine. So... Ah, uh, now I get it. Right, so we're keeping the same width as that dual carriageway. It stays till about here. Actually, no, it's not. It's about here. So what's that? Two, four. So just after the fifth house. Um, also, please leave a comment so I know you saw it. Yeah, no worries. That's not a problem. So if I can find where the fifth house is, so two, four, five, I'll be about here then. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, two, one, two, three. Yeah, that is three, isn't it? That's fine. probably stream a bit longer tonight as well with it being a Friday night so instead of doing a two hour stream I'll do a three hour so I'll be going till about half past eleven that sounds like a plan if everybody's okay with that So then from that point it sort of branches out. So that goes off that way. So put that there and then that goes off this way. Uh, 
four uh, nil Partick, eight three on aggregate. How long's gone? Everybody's in agreement. That's good. Not just me. <laughs> So that comes off there, so where the sixth house is. So it's after the sixth house, isn't it? So two, four, six. Yeah, so after the sixth house. So two, four, six. I am in the right place. That's good. 83 minutes. Well, they've, they've still got seven minutes to come back into it then. <laughs> They're not down and out just yet. FIFA style comeback, yeah. Switch it to amateur difficulty quick. <laughs> or turn or do what me and my mates used to do, turn all the stats down. So that goes there, that's good. And uh, that comes. Actually, that's the wrong block. That's the one. That comes around like that, so that's more or less what I'm looking at. Is it not quite? It's not quite like that. So it's just after the second house, actually. So it stays the same width. So about here. A bit better. Let's have a quick drink. So that means now I can actually extend the road out. Grass block. Grey glazed terracotta. That's about right, that. Or at least it will be once I've added the lines and stuff onto it. Um, in fact, why don't I just do that anyway? Makes more sense then, because at least I've already got the tarmac in. Probably going to be about right width wise. Yeah, it's like I saw a suggestion the other day, like someone commented that I should show, like, stream my next stadium as a tutorial. There's half a dozen reasons I can think of as to why I would not do that. Mainly one, because of the current time it takes to do my stadiums, on average it's, it's about six months. And if I was to do tutorials, it would take 
probably twice as, if not three times as long. Which, I mean, let's face it, nobody has the time for that. But also because of the trial and error nature, it would mean I'd spend half of it, like, obviously, as you've seen, demolishing stuff and then redoing it because I've got it wrong. So that's why I will not do tutorials. Uh, Tottenham fan doing stuff. Well, doing stuff by name, doing stuff by nature. Uh, hello, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Uh, only six months. On average, yeah. Like, when I'm working constantly day in, day out, it's on average about six months. Or it could be an Ashton Gate, which took about four. So, it... It sort of varies, but it's largely like largely due to whatever stadium it is that I'm doing at that time. Right, so width two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So it's actually more or less about where the twelfth one is. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So the widest point. I'd say is actually about here. Four, five, six, seven. Uh, I'm doing good. I build Irish GA. That's Gaelic football, isn't it? Uh, stadiums in Minecraft. That's a very interesting topic. I don't think I've come across anyone who's done like Gaelic football grounds. But I'd imagine they can't be easy. Uh, I've been sitting on a few for over a year now. To be honest, that's been more or less where I've been at. <laughs> I mean, stadiums like Ewood and City Ground and stuff like that, I started them back in 2021. And yet, there's this, there was, I think, Rotherham, which was started around Christmas time 2021 that's not finished Brentford summer 2021 still not finished so yeah I, th I, th <laughs> I think I think there'll be quite a few people who have got like stadiums that they're sat on so it's a, it's a nature of what we do though I mean you could start one and then you get part way through it, then you completely forget about it for months. Um, I have one on my YouTube channel and I'm getting two more ready to upload. Very good. That'd be really good to see, actually. I'll have a look once I get towards the end of the stream. I mean, I'm hoping I can have this one done next week. So, the 14th build in my project. Right, so I need to keep that the same width. I'm only, to be fair, I'm probably better off just doing that entire junction, aren't I? Hmm. Yeah, I'll do the entire junction because I don't want to leave like half of the road. Um, my stadiums are alright. Well, what I've always said when it comes to stadium building, you can only do like what you can do. I don't even remotely care about that Reddit. Thank you very much. I just need to sort of get this to curve, really. I think the easiest way of doing that is I'm probably going to have to use the HCYL command. Because I'm crap at doing curves. Uh, 3, 6, 
7, 8, 9, 7, 11, 12, 7, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20, 21. But it's probably going to be judged by the apex of that, isn't it? So let's see where we're at. So that's that's the middle. That's more or less where I'm at. Because that's the widest point. So 7. Well, 7, wasn't it? Yeah, 7, 8 if you include the curb, so that's another 5, probably 2, maybe 3, so that's 8, 13, 15, another 5, 20, 21 if you include the, uh, the double yellows, 21, and then 26, I make that. Uh, to be honest, I don't know how you don't have 1k get up. Yeah, your content is amazing. Thank you so much for that. Well, it just takes time. I think part of that is because obviously I'm, I don't really upload that often. I mean, I think, what am I on now? Like 907 subs or something like that. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Let's do it from here. See how this goes. Uh, go block. Six. No, not fifteen. Sixteen. No, it's definitely not that. <laughs> Unless I do this. Nope, that's the wrong way completely. Alright, so if we do 20 and 16, does that work? Mm. Kind of, but not quite, would be my verdict on that. Although actually... Turn it that way. I'm no, I am actually gonna change that. Twenty seventeen, that might be better. If we do that and then change I just realised something as well. <laughs> not even 20, it's 19. Hang on, what, what angle am I even changing here? <laughs> it probably was 20, but I've started it in the wrong spot. 16, that's it. And it levels out. So, 16... So keep the 16. There we go. That's probably going to be a better sort of curve, really. And if we can line that up, then we're good to go. All is well, <laughs> sort of. Alright, so I can bring that around now. Just keep it at five wide. seven people in the stream so far it's good to have each and every one of you in here on this Friday night I could probably 
would change all that now. And find the command, that was the one. So that's, that's six, seven. So I think we're going six, seven, six there, aren't we? So that's six, four, five, six, seven, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is it straight now or does it follow the curve? I think I'm better off doing that bit straight actually. Bring that to about there, maybe. It sort of tails off, doesn't it? So it would actually be more of something like that. detail is amazing thank you very much for that I mean I would show you the interior but you'll see it all when I do the video anyway but I think really the landscaping is probably as important as doing the stadium itself because it gives you the context of the surroundings that it's in so yeah that's that's why I tend to focus a lot on exterior detailing as well Aside from car parks, I don't like doing car parks very much. I don't know why really, they're just, like, they're just a bit, like, just a bit monotonous and boring and Peterborough have just scored again. Johnson Clark Harris has just made it 4-0 Peterborough with 9 minutes left. I mean, Sheffield Wednesday, they might not have just bottled automatic promotion. They might have just bottled their entire season. We're checking for offside, but he's definitely onside. I'm not sure who's... I think it's Aidan Flint, maybe, who's played him on. Three, six. Yeah, again, shock and defending. Easy as you like, header. Um, what's happened now? Uh, Peterborough are now four nil up. Johnson Clark Harris has just scored. I'm not sure how many he's on for the season now. Oh, he's on 29 goals this season for Peterborough. VAR in League One? No. I mean, they're putting VAR in the League One playoff final for some weird reason, but... Well, every EFL f playoff final this season is having VAR. Given the standard of refereeing, I can't imagine how that's going to pan out. Um, I have loads of stadiums that are half finished where I haven't had the motivation to do finish them. Yeah, I mean, it's all well and good having like two, maybe three on the go at the same time just to sort of divide your attention between the three and then that way if you get bored of doing one you can do the other and then move back and so on. But if you have too many on the go at once then you can completely forget about them. Uh, I'm gonna use granite for this. For the... the reason why I need the granite is because obviously if you see here it's like red. Got the red markings on the road. Um, Sheffield Wednesday are gonna have to do Barca six one if they want to win now. Yeah. But the problem is they only beat Peterborough one nil at Hillsborough this season. 
I mean, we should have won at Hillsborough, but we didn't because we got denied a last-minute penalty. But when we faced Peterborough away this season, we beat them 5-0. So I reckon if we beat Barnsley, I would make us favourites. And that's not just me being biased. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 116, 117, 118, 119, 120, 121, 122, 123, 124, 125, 126, 127, 128, 129, 130, 131, 132, 133, 134, 135, 136, 10 and then that's just a straight run then. So that comes up to more or less where that sort of left off. So it lines up about here. Line like concrete. To be honest, I don't think Peterborough's keepers even had a save to make. Uh, P45 for Mr. Moore, I think. Well, I mean, this is what? Sheffield Wednesday's second season in League One. I mean, wasn't he manager as well when they actually went down? Oh, Johnson Clark Harris is on 26 goals for League One, so 29 must be his total for all competitions. check yeah because I'm pretty sure he's, he's he was brought in I think just before they went down but I might be wrong there three four five so now I can start adding in the other side in fact what I think I'm gonna do if I, because I need something to obviously base the other side of the road off. So I think what I'm going to do is just put a line of, I don't know, yeah, grey concrete powder or granite or something like that just to give me something to build off. So that's obstructing that line, but then at least I can see. But I do know that that road definitely narrows. I think it narrows more or less where it comes off there, so... By the time it gets to the end of that, it's definitely five blocks wide. So, that is about... If I work this out correctly... I make that about here. 
five. Uh, I'll check. First of March 2021, he came in replacing Tony Pulis. Right, and I think... Yeah. Yeah, so he was brought in just before they went down. So this is his second full season with them. That makes sense. Eight people in the stream now, guys. How many likes are we on? We have one light. So let's see if we can get the lights up. Live chat. There we go. Um. Played 46, won 12, drew 11, lost 23, scored 40, conceded 61, yikes. Uh, 41 points, 24 from the championship, 2020-21. Wow. I know they had one of the best defensive records in League One this season. Well, I'll say it now, we're up there as well. I think we've got the second best defence in the league. Uh, showing seven likes from eight. That's probably because I've not refreshed the page. <laughs> Just give us one sec, guys. Right, there we... There we go. Yeah. I, I hadn't refreshed the page. That's why it was still showing one. <laughs> YouTube mugging me off. Right, there we go. So I can get rid of that granite line. Uh, fourth last season, third this season. What, for Sheffield Wednesday? six minutes added on at the end of the match I don't know where they've got six minutes from but hey ho yeah right okay Well, apparently we're going to be announcing our new shirt sponsor next week. Only thing that they've said is that it's with a major retailer. So I've no idea who that is. Alright, well, I said that was going to be a five, didn't I? Four, five. That's going to be covered over anyway. Um, bet the Sheffield United fans are loving this. Yeah, they will be. It wouldn't surprise me if Phantom does like another video where he's trolling Sheffield Wednesday. Because I think he did one on TikTok when they bottled promotion. Although if they didn't bottle promotion before, then they sure as hell have done now. But I would not write them off in the playoffs. Not Sheffield Wednesday, Peterborough. <laughs> ah. Ah, 
Actually, no, that makes sense. I'm not sure why I've only done it four wide there. Not own bargains against surely. <laughs> I hope not. I mean, if if we're going down like the whole like made in Bolton thing and trying to go down lo local companies again, because obviously we've got Tough Sheep who are sponsoring the naming rights, they've given us like a record deal, and they're based out in West Orton, which is literally down the road. Um, if we're going along that road, I reckon it's probably going to be someone like AO. Because the manager of AO is a Bolton fan and they're based in Horwich, not too far from the ground. So. So I'd say AO is the favourite, but then again, we've had names come out of left field before, so. But the connection that someone brought up earlier on on Twitter was the fact that Sulphur Red Devils are sponsored by AO and their kits are always made of, like, all the kits are made by Macron, who do ours. So it would be an interesting link if that actually happened. But all we know is that it's going to be for three years. always be Reebok Stadium to me it's pretty much the Reebok Stadium to anybody who asks like near enough the entire Bolton fan base still call it the Reebok it's like the only reason I called it the University of Bolton on my video was the fact that it was just more convenient to call it that Peterborough should have had a fifth then. That's it, game over. Peterborough have won 4 0. And a result I don't think anybody saw coming. Once the Reebok, always the Reebok. That's it, yeah. The funny thing about the Reebok deal was the fact that we had the, obviously, the naming rights to the stadium from 1997 to 2014. And then we had the manu the kit manufacturer from I think nineteen ninety two to twenty twelve and then they also sponsored our kits from I think nineteen ninety two to two thousand and nine or it might have been twenty ten actually but either way it's the longest kit like the longest sponsorship package deal in English football history. What the hell am I doing there? Oh no, they were doing kit manufacture since 1990, sorry, not 1992. But the entire deal, when you take into account kit sponsorship, kit manufacture, stadium naming rights, the whole thing lasted 24 years. Which is mad when you think about it. I'm putting potholes in my road. <laughs> I don't know what Blackburn Council are like, but they probably wouldn't get repaired. Uh, that is five, isn't it?
three. There we go. There we go. That's, look, that's looking better now. Better than it did. But the funny thing is, obviously, about the stadium is that it's not just... Like, it's not just the stadium that Bolton fans call the Reebok anymore. Like, because of where it is, like Middlebrook, pretty much anybody going up there, whenever they say, like, oh, I'm going to go up to Middlebrook, or something like that, more often than not, people would just simply say, oh, we're going up to the Reebok. Even if they were just going to the retail park. Because everybody knew where it was. You still get people saying it now. Well, the League One semi-final second leg between Peterborough and Sheffield Wednesday is next Thursday. With any luck, I might be streaming then as well, so get my live reaction to the second leg. <laughs> All I'll say is that Sheffield Wednesday have got it all to do. Alright, cut all this bit out now. How many subs am I on? I think it is on 907, isn't it? Yep. 907 subs. Just the 93 to go. I'm honestly surprised I made it this far, given how little I am. Like, how often it is that I actually do upload. So I need to start that three down. Streaming until half eleven, like I said, so still got quite a bit of time yet.
get rid of that now. That's good. I've not had a Blackburn fan in here once while I've been doing this. It's more, more often than not, when I've streamed a stadium, nine times out of ten I end up with a fan in here, at least one, whereby they actually support the team. That's not happened this time round. I'd say that's about if I had to hazard a guess one, two, three, four, five, so that's five width. I'd say that's about there. And then that sort of curves around. Can't bring it too far out. Ah, hang on a minute. It actually comes out where the road is. So I might need to even change this bit here. I shouldn't be able to actually. Right, so whatever that is, essentially. So. No custard creams tonight. No, nah, I've sort of gone off custard creams to be honest. I don't really have them much anymore. So it's two, one, two, one, two. So if that. Um, I'll just use stone in this case. Four, five, six, seven. That take you to the median in the middle. So that means this would actually I think come round to about here. Or something like that. What if I do? I don't know. This is this is where the trial and error factor comes into it. Like at times you've got to like guess and see what works but that doesn't come out as far as that that carries on curving round and no before anyone asks I am not doing that roundabout nor am I doing the McDonald's or the Aldi across the road <laughs> chocolate obnubs I've gone to lately well, yeah, blimey Peter K would be happy <laughs> you got any obnubs Right, so I think what I'm gonna have to do, like best case scenario, is if I carry on with that, I am gonna have to modify this little traffic island, which is slightly annoying now that I've already got it in place. So I put that there.
three, four, five, six, seven. So that would actually go straight as well. So obviously it then curves outwards. Um, guilty of being addicted to loss, Lotus Biscoff. I've not had them in yonks. Uh, I think last time I had one of them, I went down to my mum's. Um, have it. It's <laughs> have it. It's John Smith's adverts were great. To be honest, he, like even when I play mates on FIFA or if I've gone for a kickabout and uh, someone just hoops the ball, I'm just like have it. I still do it at Bolton games even now. Um, anything but salt and anything salted caramel. Nah, you've lost me. I I don't even like caramel to be honest. So this sort of then comes down here like that. Sort of like that roughly. This comes around here because then another a second lane forms there, but thankfully I'm only doing to about here. I'm not doing the rest of that dual carriage where I really don't see the point. It's not necessary. done a diagonal straight for quite a while so I'm just trying to think what's the width right, so if I do five width and then do that four five and then the double yellows it's got a cycle lane on it sod that I'm not doing that <laughs> Like I said, I'm not, I'm not going down that way, so I don't need to worry. Right, so it sort of curves around. But it's just one sweeping curve, isn't it? I think the houses that are on that street there sort of line up with these ones as well. Classic Lancashire, Lancashire terraced houses. Uh, actually. <laughs> this is a sort of combination where I've got to do another road entirely just to get a junction right. Which isn't ideal, really. Uh... Ah, right, okay. That makes sense. Right, so these houses, the way that they're straight, obviously they carry on that way. The tricky thing is getting it so it matches up with this. Hmm. What's that? That's three, three, three. Hang on a minute. I think that's already set up like that, isn't it? Right. Oh, this is an absolute ball ache and a half. Three, two, 
Put the houses there, wouldn't it? More or less. Um, at least the good thing is tonight I've not had to skip a single song on my playlist. This is the part where it spectacularly bites me on the ass again. <laughs> To be fair, I wasn't even planning on building this road. <laughs> I think my orig I think my actual plan is to come down here, but obviously I need to build part of this road anyway just to work out the widths and curvature and stuff. So I'm not actually building that road or these houses. Thank Christ. Um so if the road's the pavement, it's probably going to be about four blocks. Have these got gardens? Yes, they do. It's one, two, five, seven, nine, ten. Four, five, six, seven, eight. confident I can get this to work. That would have been interesting if you did. Well I'm already doing two, well three technically, lots of houses anyway. There's a block of housing just before you get to the car park. There's then a row of terraced houses here, there's another row of terraced houses there, but the ones that are down here are not strictly necessary. Because it's not like related to any vistas of the stadium or eye line or anything like that. I mean, I'll probably do the row of houses that go down this side of that road, but the ones that are on Bolton Road itself, I don't need to worry about doing. But, I mean, you just know that inevitably I'm going to end up with people commenting on the eventual video just saying that, oh you've built my house because I got quite a few comments like that on TikTok when I posted the city grid which was quite funny <laughs> so that's four Plus, I'm not really fond of building houses, to be honest. Oh, that's just a straight 
straight curves, that's all right then. Uh, trying to work out how I'm going to do this. But I don't want to make it too narrow, that's the thing. Do that maybe. Uh, I think there's yeah double yellows again. I swear there's like double yellows on most roads. Uh, loot and death will be fun to do with all them hoses. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what what little I do in housing when it comes to my stadiums will definitely be made up when it comes to building loot. Because that is one that is on my list. Gonna get these two now to link up. Uh, the away end, lol. Yeah. <laughs> I saw Wickham play there. I've I've never seen Bolton play there, but then again, we've never really been in the same league, so. Indeed. <laughs> Alright, if I do that, just make that a bit wider. And then I think I'll get away with that for that corner. That's fine. So that's going to be more or less what it was like on Bolton Road down here, whereby there's like a dedicated space for parking. So what's that? So that's, I think it'd be slightly narrower than that because it's only a side street. So that'll be what five gap three and no double yellows. So basically it'd be five gap two if you count the double yellows. Can't wait to have these roads done. So then we can actually get into the crux of building. But it's a necessary evil, it's got to be done. Right, let's see. So, one, two, gap. Three, four, five. And then it's just single divider, isn't it? Yep. One, two, three, four, five. Gap. So, and then double yellow. And I think that stays that same width all the way through. Yes, it does.
five. Four, five, so. Sort of like that. I think I'll make that a bit, a little bit wider. Avery's still got in the stream. Who are the chosen five? <laughs> well, I'd imagine one of them is me, actually, so. The chosen four. I'm here, I'm still here. That's good to know. At least I'm not talking to myself. <laughs> Tottenham fans still here. Uh, going mad, you mean? Yeah. It's like my mum always used to say to me as a kid, like, oh, if you're talking, don't talk to you. Well, if you're talking to yourself, don't answer yourself, otherwise you get locked up. Mind you, I do feel like I'm going mad at times. So that I can start cutting out this bit of the road now. How to solve a junction with three roads. <laughs> can I? Uh, me in a nutshell. <laughs> All the lines are hurting my brain. I know. <laughs> it's, it's doing the same with me, to be honest, but like I said, it's got to be done. So what's that width there? That's six, isn't it? So five, six. Bit of Ozzy Osbourne.
trying to work all this out in my head at the same time. It's not easy. Pretty much about to be sent. Oh, what did I think you said? Ha ha. <laughs> Herta pretty much about to be sent to Bundesliga 2. I'm going to take a punt and say they're losing. Right, how wide is that corner? It's actually wider than the other side because there's a traffic island there. Oh, I've not even finished this junction yet, and I already hate it. It's just a pain in the ass. Traffic Island there that's something like that. Um beat five two by Kun. Yikes. <laughs> mm. I think they are as good as down. Uh Lancashire Roads. It's not just Lancashire Roads, it's literally anywhere in the country. Traffic islands are the most annoying things to do. Because they just plonk them anywhere. <laughs> it's like the planning department's just like, oh, have we got any? Have we got any traffic islands? No, where do you want one? I want it here. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> just plonk them anywhere. They'll do. So many lines. I know. It'll, it'll be all the better for it though once I've actually got the roads marked out and stuff. There won't be as many lines. In fact, I can actually get rid of that one. We have way more islands here. <laughs> I can imagine. It's like they just plop them anywhere. It's like they're just a mild inconvenience. Alright. It's like I said though, that's actually wider. So if we do. Two, two, two. So something like that. Uh, in Milton Keynes' case, it's poxy roundabouts. Oh yeah, roundabout central. problem with Edinburgh though it's hills it's like wherever you, wherever you go you've got to go up hill when you're going home you go up another flaming hill <sighs> I'm gonna 
some of these. And then this road can finally start to take its proper shape. And then I can get rid of about half a dozen lines that I really don't need. <laughs> Given I'm doing to the equivalent of about the, then that, I mean, that means I don't actually need to do these. So I can get rid of the stone on both sides. But I just needed to know for... Well... Yeah. <laughs> just needed to know just to get a general idea as to how wide the road was. Hills are great. Well, they're alright for hiking. Yo, yo, yo. Anyone miss me? Freak out. I cannot remember for the life of me the last time you came into a stream. So it's good to have you back in that regard. <laughs> Few hills in High Wycombe too. Well, I'm right on the edge of the Pennine, so literally anywhere I walk is either up or down a hill. Fill that in, I can lower it down in like one block chunks. With every arrow so far. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to say hi then. Well, just wanted to say hi to be honest. I'll see you in like a year or so. Alright, oh, okay. <laughs> on the road anyway haven't I well two <laughs> and then I've got to do one of them hatch things oh I hate this road already it's just annoying do actually need to sort of lower these down because as I pointed out on the last stream that the road isn't actually in the ground yet it's still in its sort of marking out phase so it does need to be lowered into place sort of went wrong. So I've got to remember what bits are actually above the line.
was weird. It went from like one person in the stream to four. Talk. Traffic Island is set back a bit actually from where the road is. So it's about the sort of. Um. Which the good thing is I can use those high bales to mark out the street markings for that little side street, whatever it's called. What is it called anyway? Kidder Street. That wasn't what I meant to press. <laughs> right, so if I find the middle is about here. Something like that, it's a bit all over the place, isn't it? You gotta be kidding me, budum <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's not even going the right way, that is it? Bugger. Middle's actually there. So it's more like that, if anything. comes across here. And there we go, there's now a lot less lines there than there was before. Um, I pulled a master stroke by getting home last night, getting home last night after a few birthday drinks. I'm gonna take a guess and say you were absolutely off your head. <laughs> I mean, we've all been there, so. Alright, I need to replace the grass with the terracotta, that's it. In progress at last. Um, it's 
So I think over this side anyway, it's sort of level with said traffic island. to the local kebab shop as every drunk person does um, spoke to my mate who works the then his delivery driver came in and said any deliveries so me being me said I could do with a lift home and he, she said sure oh, that's fair enough you don't know if you don't ask My mate was gobsmacked. <laughs> I think what I will do actually is just widen that up a little bit. And then at long last we can actually do the other half of the junction. Yay! You watch now, I'll, I'll, I will spectacularly caught this up. Actually, that's not turned out too bad. I'm not the cricket. If I'm not at the cricket tomorrow, I'll definitely watch Bolton. I'll definitely be watching Bolton. I'll be there. <laughs> yeah, that junction's not actually turned out too bad. And that's just a sweeping curve isn't it so I can still do this let's just widen that a bit Not just because of this, but also because Oasis just came on my playlist. <laughs> yes, I finally sussed it. watch Bolton if there was a convenient way of watching it. Uh, there's I follow, so I think you have to, I don't know if you have to register to be a member or not, 
but you can get I follow on the bottom website. I think it only costs ten pounds. I think it's ten pounds to watch it on, like on your computer as such. I'll have a check now. Yeah, you have to register on the site. I mean, it won't be. We can't watch it in the UK because there's no, like, the, I think there's like a three p.m. blackout, so we can't actually watch it as such in the UK. But you you'll be able to because you're abroad. I'm not sure how much ten pound is in dollars. Uh, sussed it after a few ah cocks. Yep. <laughs> It wouldn't be, it would not be my stream without a few of those. Live on Sky in the UK, yeah. Wait, if it's live on Sky, then I don't get how that works. Because there's supposed to be a 3 pm blackout, so that's why you can't stream it on iFollow in the UK. Although maybe that's probably because it's on Sky. But you should still be able to watch it on iFollow from abroad, or if alternatively you could try looking for a stream or something. Oh, I've just done that twice now. into the ground now. I think as it's the playoffs it's different. Yeah, that's probably it. on TV today is Adelaide United versus Central Coast Mariners. Yay! <laughs> hey, at least you've got some football on. So it's not all bad. Unless it's just because the two teams are crap, I don't know. saying that, if it's Adelaide playing, I'd imagine Zach Clough would be playing. Came through Bolton's academy. Uh, it's part of a final series. Uh, I have no idea how that works. I'd imagine it's a bit like the MLS. Um, Big Sam FC versus Saudi Arabia FC at 12.30pm tomorrow in the Prem. 
Leeds v Newcastle. <laughs> Doesn't take a rocket scientist to work out that one. I think I'll probably do another couple of streams next week. I mean, next Friday I can't because obviously I'll be in Barnsley. But I think if I do streams next week on Tuesday and Thursday, I think next week. So I'm literally doing nothing on either one, either one of those two days. And yes, I have checked my calendar. <laughs> uh, look forward to messaging my dad who's on holiday in Thailand. That leads result. <laughs> Although, to be fair, I mean, it's not out of the realms of possibility that Leeds could get a result. I mean, even though they lost against City, they did play all right. I still want Leeds to stay up anyway. I mean, my bottom three to go down is Southampton, Everton, Leicester. At the minute, two of those are in the bottom three. I just need Everton to cock up and end up in the bottom three again. When I told them City was 2 0 up, the message was heated. Southampton down this weekend if results go against them. Well, it's pretty obvious that they will do, so. Mind you, I wouldn't mind St Mary's away next season. Because I think out of the teams that are in the Championship at the minute, I think there's only one team in there that I've actually done before, and that's QPR. I would say Brentford, but they're Premier League, and that was Griffin Park. And I can't exactly say Wigan or Reading, because they've just both been relegated. So that means I'll be doing at least... Actually, no, because Plymouth have gone up, I've done them... So yeah, there'll be at least 22 new stadiums for me. If I can get to them all. Crap. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, Southampton just needs to keep exiting and re-entering the FIFA save until they stay up. 
I always used to do that as a kid because I hated losing. It's like, oh, I've lost. No, no, I, di I didn't lose, just back out. <laughs> Although I'd imagine if it was a Southampton fan playing it, they'd probably wish they didn't save it. Like, the only time they'd saved it was the start of the season. That way they could play the whole season again. <laughs> We've had a crap season. No, no, we didn't. We'll just go back to the last save. They find it lo loads right at the start of the January trans... Well, start of the summer transfer window. Uh, I've done that a few times on Football Manager. I've never actually played Football Manager, but it's one game that I am contemplating getting at some stage. Because, I mean, the only game mode that I really played on FIFA was career mode, but because it's all just been the same since, what, FIFA 14? Like, it's not really changed significantly apart from new fancy graphics. And then I just have to find a mod on Football Manager to get the Premier League badges in. How about 20 years ago? Well, not really, because 20 years ago they hadn't, like, Southampton hadn't been in League One yet. I mean, they, I think they only got promoted from League One in, like, 2010 or 2011. Like, Southampton were really in the shit. So I'll just check actually where were Southampton. Football League. They won successive promotions from League One and the Championship 2010 2011. So that's when they came up from League One. 2011 12, they got to the Premier League. Twenty years ago, I think Matt Letizia was still playing for them. So doesn't come up with seasons. There we go. So twenty seasons ago, so it's like all two or three. They'd been in the Prem. Yeah, yeah. They were a founder member of the Premier League. Southampton. Uh, all right, Dom. Welcome to the stream. Uh, we got Everton away on Sunday. Yes, you have. I'll be listening to it on BBC Radio Manchester. Or if it's not on that, it'd be BBC Sounds for me. I'll just stick it on 5 Live. Just need to make sure I've put that in the right place. I have more or less. Uh, all nine, ten, seventh league one. Yeah, it's like I said, they they were literally in the toilet at that point. Uh, they got mid table prem twenty years ago and went downhill from them. Yeah, I mean that's more or less what we did. So it's like I think all four or five, I think it was, we finished sixth in the Premier League, and then seven years later we got relegated. So it's. It's a weird one, the Football League. You never know how it's going to go. Uh, I'm not too bad, thank you. Hope you're okay. Yeah, I'm not doing too bad. I mean, I'm going watching Bolton against Barnsley tomorrow, first leg, so... Hopefully we can get a result, especially given what Peterborough did tonight. Uh, but Southampton came back up to the Prem. They did. They got two... Well, they got successive Prem... Like, six... I uh, can't talk. <laughs> successive promotion. 
So they went from League One to Championship, Championship to League One in two, well, Championship to Premier League in two seasons. I mean, Wolves did that as well back in 2012, but they did it in reverse. So they went Premier League, Championship, Championship to League One, and Sunderland have done that as well. Uh, still can't believe that Oldham found a member of the Premier League and now in the National League. Yeah, I know it's sad to see what's happened to Oldham. Rochdale are there now as well. So at least they'll have a derby of sorts. Who knows, if they're there long enough, they might end up meeting Berry again. what it's like I think get rid of the rest of it mind you it's like 2017-18 or 2016-7 yeah 2017-18 and when Blackburn ended up in League One, they were the first former Premier League champions to end up in League One. Which is probably even worse than the Oldham start, to be honest, but then again, Oldham haven't tasted a promotion since they went into the Prem. Like, all they've known is relegation. I mean, it wasn't helped with, with the owners who they had until recently. Because he was just a bit mental. Uh, I see franchise owner been getting a lot of shit off his fans for their relegation comments from other fans. Well, to be fair, he was the one who dragged them out of Wimbledon. Like an utter tool, and if he got his way, they'd be playing in Dublin right now. So... They've got a stadium that is way too big for the fan base. I mean, I I get future proofing and everything, but when have MK ever had thirty thousand fans on a weekly basis? I mean, hell, I don't even think Wimbledon got that in their heyday. Fifteen minute warning, I will be finishing the stream in fifteen minutes. Worked out quite well actually. I like how that's turned out. Right, just need to put in the cross hatch in there.
one comment was made by a crew fan and this tool two other franchise fans said back to him you can't talk with your club we're, we're a proper one with real fans they were when they were Wimbledon not anymore they're not because if they were a real club with real fans why did they ignore said fans and move from Wimbledon in the first place that makes literally no sense I think it's something like that. It took me God only knows how long to work out that these like hash markings on junctions mean that you're not allowed to stop there. Like, I never knew what they were for beforehand. But it was on my driving test that I f well, driving lessons that I found out. So that was, what, six years ago? And there's a few of them boxes in London, though. Yeah, it's like I said, it was when I was on my driving lessons I found out that it means you're not actually allowed to stop there. So I think it's just a case of keeping junctions free of congestion, which makes a lot of sense, really. Fleetwood Mark. doing that <laughs> press the wrong button and end up launching my axe that it's so much easier than the old way of replacing the blocks yeah yeah it's definitely easier I mean I still like I still move the blocks obviously one by one if it's a single block but doubles and above that I can just like use world edit to move them down which is so much easier I'm just glad that like when it comes to doing Griffin Park there's not actually much landscaping to do. Like all I've gotta do is like four streets around it and a f some houses and a f like a few pubs.
floodlights be fun. Well, to be fair, I've already marked out where the pylons are going for the pylons. No, what? The pylons are going for the floodlights, rather, on, in, on Griffin Park, so... It's likely when I do start streaming Griffin Park, that's the first thing I'll be focusing on. That's turned out alright, actually. this and now there's nowhere near in the amount of lines that we had to begin with because that junction is structurally it's done it just needs detailing uh, will Griffin will Griffin Park stream start immediately after yeah so once Blackburn's like completely finished obviously I'll be putting the video together for Ewood at the same time, but I will move directly on to Griffin Park. It's about the time that that got my love and attention after I've neglected it for so long. Don't know what the hell I was going to do then. So I might as well just finish this junction off, hadn't I? Uh, let's see. Two, three, four. Wondering what this is. This is a pedestrian crossing. I think there's one, two, three. So there's another one going this way. So there's that one there. And there's another one here. Uh, the intersection looks nice better than anything I could do, although I don't want to do them, so I don't bother. To be fair, I didn't really want to do this one, but given how many, like, how it sort of forms a border on the edge of the stadium grounds, I sort of had to do it. But in an ideal world, I wouldn't have done. I'd have just done like that back street there. So really, the only reason this is getting done is just because it's conveniently placed. So that one there, and then there's another one right up here. I need to do. Right, so I've got the markings in there, that's fine. Um, I know what I can do. Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four, five, six.
At least when you get to Wickham's, there's no houses around, no. <laughs> no, there's not. It's only an industrial estate. Where is High Wickham? There it is. Saying that our owners from High Wickham were like I think the uh, sons were born in Beaconsfield or Beaconsfield, I've never known how you pronounce that. But yeah, Adams Park surroundings being absolute doddle. So it's car park on one side, trees on three. Easy. Couldn't get much easier than that. trees and hills. Well, I'm not putting the hills in. <laughs> I'll put the trees in but not the hill. Now I can place these. There's terracotta. Electricity pile on behind the stand as well. <laughs> Is there actually? Let's see. Oh, there is as well. I'll make sure to add that in. think we're good. Actually I'll just lower these in quick and then I might call it a night. just seems in the way. I know. <laughs> Should be easy for you with the amount of pylons you've done. I know. <laughs> well yeah, because I mean like they're not too dissimilar to regular floodlight pylons, so they would be pretty easy to do. It's just a question of trying to guess how tall they actually are. Right, I think that's where I'm going to leave it for tonight. I will be streaming again on Tuesday, so I'll set that stream up, obviously once I finish here. 
So it'll be Tuesday and Thursday next week, and then we'll crack on with whatever landscaping I've got left. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, ho I'm hoping by Tuesday I'll have done a lot more than what we've done today, so. So, yeah. With that, let's see what we got up to. Um, still on 907 subs. Sounds about right. Um, but, yeah, so... I want to thank everybody for coming in to the stream tonight and keeping me company. Um, obviously, it's not been the most exciting one, given the amount of times I had to demolish and redo things, but that's trial and error for you. Um, so, yeah, I will see you all on Tuesday. It'll be 8 o'clock start as usual. And, yeah, that's it. I will see you all then. Cheers. <laughs>